Hey guys, and welcome back to Conquest of Elysium 5 with me. Not Conquest of Elysium 5, Dominions 5 with me, Time and Tactics. Been playing too much uh, Conquest of Elysium 5 lately. Okay, so um, we have a couple options now. I am very interested in taking the uh, two Thrones of Ascension here. Let's take a look at them again because we did have a battle last time at both locations. I sent in the uh, hero duels there. Let's look at the messages. First up, let's look at the White Spring Grove. That's just a province down here. We're going to have two sorcerers there and two deer tribe shamans. The sorceress uh, is a level 2 air, level 2 astral, and then it has a 20% chance to get one more. So that's pretty dangerous. And then we have two of the shamans, which are not nearly as dangerous, right? Level 1 nature and maybe air as well. But there's four of them, plus it has, you can see here, mainly a deer tribe, archers and warriors, but there are 37 of the phantasmal warriors. And this is what I'm worried about right here. They are ethereal, which means that, well, we have a 25% chance to hit, they have a 75% chance to avoid any kind of attack. So that would be a problem. They do 10 damage here. They have zero protection and 10 defense. So if we have magical human beings, or at least, you know, units with magical weapons, we'd be in good shape. But we don't really have that. So that would be a problem. If we instead go look at Karnag, which is the one right over here in the mountains, we have, well, one plus two plus one, four of these mages as well. The Circle Master here is a level 2 death, a level 2 blood. There are two conjurers, a level 1 death, a level 1 blood. And then we have a sorcerer here as well. Level 1 death, level 1 blood, and then two random skills. But the units they have are just regular units. Light infantry, heavy infantry, and crossbowmen. And they have a lot of death, so I assume they're going to be getting a lot of undead beings. What if we get somebody we can banish? Maybe somebody like our nun Lugal over here, our prophet, our priest king. Let's go ahead and actually check him out while we're here. He's doing fanaticism right now is what I've set him up to do, but what else do we have? Blessing, final rest, banish, yep. Destroy undead beings. Air effect is two. And for every level he is, we'll go up by one. And he's level four, right? So it's going to go up quite a bit. If you use this one, final rest. What about here? Holy word. Affect one person. Nope, that's a sacred warrior. Affects that. Holy avenger. That's just a regular weapon. Divine blessing, word of thorns. There, range 30, one person. Hmm, a heathen is struck by Divine Bolt, so not really undead there either. We only have, am I right about that, Smite Demon? We only have the final rest. So, we could actually use a bunch of hero duels and do a lot of damage, right? So, air of effect is two, so two areas, each having up to six unit points in there, right? A human takes up two, or, well, undead, maybe undead human-like. That would be very interesting to have that. So, we can send in... A bunch of these hero duels over there. Maybe I will do that, right? That will be down here, right? We have a hero duel. Where are you at? You retreated. Not there. There. You retreated here. What if we sent... You're going back here right now. And I think I'm sending up another one here. I have a total of four, don't I? I can't that see that very easily. Well, it's these right here. Yeah, we have four, I think. If I take four of them, go into this battle, so we'll have the the hero duels take care of those undead coming out. And then we have a bunch of regular units in there as well. These, the crossbowmen, heavy infantry, light infantry. We can use our slaves for that, I think. I don't think that would be a problem. They can do other things as well, but the best one would be the circle master, right? Or maybe actually the sorcerer. Yeah, maybe. They would cast, well, I think they would cast a lot of undead. 
you know, get them in there. So maybe I do want to do that. Where, where are we at with my hero duels? One here, preaching. One here, moving up this way. One here, moving down here. And then we have one moving back here. Yeah, let's consolidate them. I think we'll do that. I could get more if I wanted to. I have four right now. But right now I'm recruiting... Well, I am recruiting one, I guess. And then one Lizard Lord. I need to pick up these units that I'm going to get here. So we need to get more units here, I think. So next turn, once we get the runners and we get the... We get the Elite Warriors together with the ones we already have here. And the Horn Serpents, we're getting more. We'll consolidate that here. And he can be in charge of all of them. And then we have our our pretender moving down here. They can both attack from these two locations into Karnak. That would be tempting, right? So next turn, we're going to have him, the Lizard Lord, ready. Turn after that, he'll move in here. So we have a little bit of time to get our hero duels down there. I was going to use this hero duel to go and scope them out, but maybe we'll wait with that. Instead, let's take you, move down here, get ready. And there's one up here. We don't need to preach. We could preach. It's level one right now here. One Dominion Candle, but... Um, Maybe I will take you and move you down here. And I'm pressing Alt. I can go down with that for the turn after as well. So that's two of them. You're moving in here. you moving down there. This one here is moving here. And then after that, move there as well. Okay, I think that will do it. So here's the plan. Hero duels. Consolidate here in the Royal Forest. Once we get our new Lizard Lord, pick up all the units that we have together with the summoned ones, move into the Royal Forest. In the meantime, we'll take our Pretender, move down and take this one here, and then we'll attack Karnak. What do we do up here, though? Well, that's our secondary attack, I think. Right now, we have Nan Lugal himself. Not too many units, 28. But we are get, bringing up reinforcements here. And I think we'll continue doing that. So next turn, we're going to have quite a few units here. And then the Chash over here can move down to the temple and uh, you can start getting those serpents, those uh, sacred units that we are doing here with the Tibira Kalam. Yeah, we already have two here. Three, actually. Yeah, that would be good. So I think that's the plan. Okay, what else do we need to do? So, uh, well, a goal here, by the way, for is for our hero, not hero, but our uh, Lizard King, to take on Vongar. I think Vongar is the easier one. There are barbarians over here. Doesn't look like this easier now, but there were quite a few there, I think. We'll take Vongar. Both of these provinces are marked as large provinces, so we're going to have a lot of income there. We have a fortification coming online here, building the palisade in two more months. We can put one here, or maybe put one here. Would be better. Oh, wait. It's only three provinces. See, there we're going to have a problem getting through, taking these, but hmm. Well, we'll have two here. If we take this one, it'd be even less we would have. Well, we'd have two as well. We'll see what we'll do. By the way, I said that the only way through the high mountains is through this uh, specific highlands. Well, you can get through any Umaral here as well. See there? The path is yellow or orange uh, here. And I just noticed that actually you can get through right now. The climate or the weather here now is hot enough in, in it when we'll, we have one here that must be because work over here they like hot and we had like hot as well so we are kind of overpowering the cold here so you can get through now here and well not here that's still red but i think the orange here means that we are getting through because of the heat on both sides there's level one heat here and level two heat over here so you can get through actually right now in winter i bet you can't but um it looks like in spring you can Pretty easily there. Okay, anyway, so going back to um, the plan. So we're going to be attacking here. The problem here is that if I take Nun Lugal up here in the north and take this, what is going to happen? Well, we're not going to have a level 4 pre uh, priest down here to take Karnak. We need a level 3 at least. But I think I'll do that anyway. Maybe next turn we get another... Well, I need to actually, I need to be level 3, right, to take it. And that would mean that only our, oh wait, our pretender can take it, right? 
<clears throat> I think our pretender can take it. I don't think I've ever done that. I usually use the profit. Uh, but let me see here. We should be able to take it. The pretender. Let's assume that. If not, we'll get another Lizard King over here, I think. Okay, so we go for that, right? That is um, all I can do. Mercenaries. Bindar's Mighty Marcatus. These are the monkeys, right? 30 pounds of gold for employment. Good for three months. We could maybe uh, treasure it too. I could take him otherwise. And then we can use him in a battle against Karnag. It would be tempting. Right now we're using the money to recruit, right? 30 is not much. These runners will cost 13. So I could get rid of a couple of those. Maybe a elite warrior. And they are 15, I think. What if we get rid of up to 45? Let's do that. Let's just see if we can get them. Let's take these. You can see the symbol right there, too. I can't really tell what that is, but I think it's the monkeys. So we're going to hire that. We'll bid up to 35. Yeah, we'll see about that. See if we can do that. Okay, I think that's all I want to do. Right. Yep, yep. Let's go for the next one. Summon Horde Serpent, Summon Horde Serpents, and then a battle in Sitala. That's our pretender right here. And we should be fine, I think. What do we have in the back? Uh, yeah, we should be fine still. Let me turn on these things again here so we can have a better view. We have a couple of commanders in the back, archers in the back, light infantry and heavy. Uh, per usual, we're going to have... Oh, there's a couple of slow ones there, isn't it? We should get rid of them. We shouldn't have them in the army. Yep, they're dying. That's fine. Bringing them forward. Now, when you're firing from the back like that, with your precision being low, or their precision being low, they're not necessarily, necessarily going to hit our units. They're going to hit their own units. We should be able to take them out pretty easily here, I think, right? There, they're gone. Okay, let's look at the stats for that then. We only lost four of the slave warriors out of six, but um, and one light infantry, one elite, killed quite a few. Yeah, that's good. So we took that and we got more horn, uh, horned serpents. Great, I want to see what we have now. So now we're sitting here with two of our hero duels. They're ready to go. We have our pretender down here, which now, by the way, has to experience because he has more than 50 XP. You know, that's something else I wanted to do. Up here we have Maklu. Maklu now has 52 in XP. That means we can probably take him away. Stop going through that and get that experience because this was maybe a little bit excessive having him stay in there and not do anything for that long, but at least now we gained two experience. So attack skill is plus two, so that's good. Defense is plus two. Magic resistance, uh, not affected, but morale, I believe, yep, affected as well. And I think the fatigue, doesn't it affect the fatigue as well? I think it does. Anyway, so yeah, he's in pretty good shape. I want to use him. In fact, it would be interesting. Let's look at the research here. See, in construction, uh, we have level two now, right? So if I go and pick one of my guys here, like... Uh, Quit him over here. Forge magic item. What if we get something like handful of acorns? That's going to give a retinue of three vine men to whomever has this. So if we give that to Makul, Maklu, he can do assassinations and he will be in pretty good shape having three vine men with him as well. You know, I attempted to do that. What was it? Five nature magic? We have ten right now. We're making two per turn. I'm tempted to take it. Let's go ahead and do that. Forge a magic item, and we'll get one of that. We can get more. Pennant of luck, you know. But let's get those. All right, what do we have as far as units? I want to see that here. Quite a few. Quite a few of those horned serpents there. So we're going to take our commander, the lizard lord. Not the commander, but lizard lord. We'll take him. He can have 80. So he is where? There. He can have 80 units. Great, we'll take, I'll take all of them. You can have up to three squads. And we're going to have more than three squads, so we'll have four. Which is not ideal, right? 
What if we do something like that? These don't get that extra boost in morale, I noticed. Undisciplined, let me see. Yeah, plus one morale there. Two and two. Okay, that's good. Let's put them like that. Let's put up... Well, here we have the runner. The runner is very fast and has 16 in speed. Let's put him on the flank down here. Line formation. I don't know if we need that. We want them to make sure they get through. If I do box... Double line, maybe. Let's do a double line. And then you're going to be attacking rearmost enemies. Let's do that. In the front, do we put the... We have to keep in mind, we're attacking Karnak, right? The uh, Throne of Ascension. And we're going to have the units for the uh, from the Pretender as well. But do we have the Horned Serpents? They have 8 speed. Do they go before our uh, slaves? Venomous Fangs, 11. Length is 0. They can be repelled. But if it's not repelled and we do damage, they are going to kill. 11 protection, 7 defense. They can die pretty easily, but, you know, not die. They have 29 hit points. Attack is pretty high, though. So, quite likely there. To hit, right? Attack skill plus 2d6. So, quite likely, if they're not repelled, they'd be in great shape. Let's look at these. So, these do more damage. What do we say we had down there in Karnag? We have light infantry and heavy infantry, a few of crossbowmen, and then the mages. Hmm. So go back in here. Okay, let's put them... If I put them there, line formation would be... Oh, they'd be covering the whole thing. What if we do double line? Now, these have been summoned. Doesn't really matter, right? They can only do skirmish. They're undisciplined. I can do something like that. They're coming in from the flank, so we don't clog up the center too much. Maybe we'll do that. If we do attack closest, they're going to do whatever they want. They're undisciplined. Okay, we'll leave it at that, I guess. We'll take this one as well. Yeah, let's do that. So we have both of them. We can always give that to somebody else, or if, if one of them dies, one of the serpents die. Okay, so we'll take him then. Move in here, and we'll see about the supplies in there. How that's going to work. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so we're consolidating now. We're going to get our units there. That's level 5 candles here, so we can't really do anything with our hero duels while we wait, right? And there's a hero duel moving down south. We can have a third one and a fourth one. And there's one more over here moving in there as well. Yes, we'll take them. They're going to be in the back. Once they get here, let's set them all up to be in the back. If we took this province. First of all, let's go ahead and um, increase that to six per usual. Okay, so now that we're down here, we can attack from here if we wanted to. We want to do that? Well, that means we're going to wait here a turn. Why would we wait here? I don't want to move away too much. Then I'm going to be one turn delayed. My clue is here. We're going to get the acorns there. My clue, how fast are you? 14. Control M, we can see how far he can get. That takes 18. It's swamp there. Yeah. Can't get there in one turn. Because the acorns are going to be waiting next turn. If we could get there and pick them up. We have to think about this uh, priest king as well. If I bring him up here. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and get these units down here. Oh, 40. Oh, no, wait. I'm doing the wrong thing. He can have 120. And there we go. We'll put him like that. Yep. He can have four units. I'm going to put him here. Hmm, the serpent increasing well by one. Yeah, I think I put him there. Okay, now, Shaw here, you can move down here. Because I want you to be getting the serpent's, you know, temple trainer. Since we have a temple over here. Okay, that's fine. Our palisade will be done in one turn. Yep, one turn remaining. Entering site. We're not going to do that anymore. You're at 52. I'm going to take you now, but where do we go? 
We might as well go down to the Royal Forest. Actually, he doesn't need to be in the battle just yet. We'll go down here and then continue down home to Cetis, picking up that a little bit later, the acorns. Let's do that. Okay, what else do we do? You know, something we can do here, by the way, we can always drop a hero duel in that... Um, what is the location called? The, the Academy of War. Entering that site, get experience. And when you do experience, you gain also experience in precision. And if we give them a magic weapon, remember, any value above 10 for precision counts as double, basically. So having 14 is actually pretty high. He's actually very good at ranged weapons. We can give him him, yeah, 14. Give him that black bow. Maybe I will construct that black bow. But who can do it? He can do it. Once he gets down there, he can construct himself. Maybe I'll do that. Hmm. Okay, anyway, so we're moving down here. Sneaking down. Okay, that's fine. We're consolidating our units here. Waiting there. I guess I'm going to take Nandugal after all. And we'll take him in attack cap here anyway. We could attack. Yeah, see, there are 80 there. We could attack. Yeah, I think it's red there. They can't get through. Okay, not yet anyway. They can't get through here now though. They can take these units, 50 enemy units. They moved up there. It's in the mountains. This would be hot. Yep, we don't have the domain here. That's a problem. If they attack down here, then we'll come back next turn and, uh, well, they're gonna move away, right? They're gonna move away and maybe take that. Well, we'll see. We have a force here, right? So we might be able to go back. Let's go do this, first of all. We'll take Jahina, move back into the Royal Forest. If they come down here, we'll go back into Sodorth and we'll try to take them out. In the meantime, Nan Ludal, Lugal, let's take him in here. Do we have units set up? Yep, we do. We're going to have all of them in the front there, right? Guarding the commander, a few in the very front, and then some of those horned serpents. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then we'll take Mongar. Okay, that's good. What else do we do? Actually, I'm going to use the arrow case. You see, it keeps zooming in like this because of my mouse button. I'm rolling it by mistake. But anyway, in the ocean we have Oceania. They have taken that now. See, they claim that throne. No, they have not claimed the throne. Actually, they own the provinces, right? They own that province. Yep, they will claim it though. Okay, so what do we do? What else do we do? Well, that's going to be... I think that's going to be fine to take this one. We're moving M uh, Maklu back. <laughs> and then we uh forging those. We're researching more here because I want to get up to... What am I working on? Conjuration. Yeah, the Bog Beast. Remember that? So we do the Bog Beast as well. Moving our hero duels back in. Ah, oh, that's Louis here. Let's do a search so we can find out more. I think we said... We only search three of them. Yep, let's keep doing that. What do we recruit here? Do we actually get the monkeys? We did not get them. Did not. He took them. Okay. Hmm. We're getting more of these runners. Do we really need that? Maybe. I'm tempted to get... Like, since I have my Lizard King up here, he's going to be one, two, three, many turns away. But if I recruit a new one here. I can have two armies led by Lizard Kings. One down here and one up north, although... And then one with my commander. Maybe it is worthwhile getting that. And then we also have the Lizard Lord, actually. Maybe I should have gotten Lizard King last time. The reason I need one, obviously, is to take the Throne of Ascension. We need to be level 3 holy to do that. Let's say I take this one next turn. Then we have one, two, three, and then four. And we're going to be taking it in, not this turn, but next turn. Hopefully, right? So maybe we'll just keep stay with one. And instead, what we get here, we get another Marshmaster. Yeah, I will I say we take that. Gold 40 left. Yeah. We're going to have to build a fortification here, too, I think, right? It's in the mountains, but I think it's worthwhile. It's two away from Sodorth, 
two weapons it is so we can share these provinces here yeah it's worthwhile doing that now that the reason we don't have very much money is because we're getting all these units they are very good to have even these are good I think they're good they're not bad at all they don't do that much damage but imagine they can run to the back where you have the mages and maybe get take one or two of them out so I think I want to get that one more turn at least we'll save the rest of the money 40 and the next turn we'll probably think about saving more so we can get that um, fortification we also get, want to get more temples right we want to spread that dominion that we have right now the way it works by the way is that for every five temples you increase your chance of spreading but every temple will also attempt to spread so having two temples is you know two chances of 80 percent so that's why we have a pretty good area right now actually so anybody taking this they're going to be feeling the pain with our you know five percent reduction that they get for our income okay so uh, let me just double check now if we go to f1 and then check our units they're defending our they hero duels they are i know that that's what we're doing and then here i'm not getting any more i have five left here i'm not getting any more of the horned serpents right now we have 32 death gems you know what we should get actually maybe instead of getting a marsh master here maybe we'll get one of these and poisoners because that's a death and we can do something with that having an assassin seems helpful now against work maybe i'll get that the marsh master is more expensive as well okay yeah we'll do that we'll take that okay so do we have everything planned out i think we do we're going to attack up here and that's the only attack we're going to have right now this turn but we're consolidating our units down here yeah let's go for it okay uh they claim the brass throne that would be oceania right i think it is yeah the brass throne we searched swindland there was none was found ah that is too bad okay battle in bongar up in northwest let's look at that battle we should be good here we have a huge line of the elite warriors they're in the back did i put them in the back there i didn't move them forward okay there's a lot of these range units right yeah they're ranged they have experience as well okay let's see what they do fanaticism so our morale is going to go up so right now we have morale 11 because hostile dominion there oh hostile dominion that's not good there we go now we're going to have 12 and that's going to hopefully make a big difference there 11 now experience one it's really low normally divine spell one okay they're going to be keep firing in their their weapons so they're not going to do too much damage for a while i need to get rid of them actually the, the slow units anyway it's going to take them a while to to get good um hone in right until we get closer they're not going to do too much damage these units 11 and morale but they are faster 11 instead of 10 so they can engage the enemies and as soon as they engage they can't fire these units we can see here they have eight protection 17 defense that is not great but there we go now it's going to be more of an even fight here i think hopefully we can take them horn serpents coming in slow we should have them in the front didn't I set up my Horned Serpents to be attacking from the flank? That was not this unit, it wasn't. That was the Lizard Lord, wasn't it? 17 defense, why is it so high? Mounted plus three, armor and shield minus one, shield plus two. They, that's the thing right there in experience. They're not naturally really that high, but be on the horse. Okay, we're taking them out, we're taking them out. Good. I want to get that province with all of the, um, you know, the high population there. There, now they're fleeing. Good. Excellent. Gone. All right, what did we get? Battle in Vongar. Yep, that's the one. We lost eight elite and five of the slaves. Regular slaves. So 11, I mean 13. We killed 34. Good. Unexpected event in Sodorth. That's where we're building the fortification. A large group of people have started to worship a false pretender. The leaders of the group were swiftly killed, but faith has decreased and unrest is rising. Dominion minus two. I think we're still good on that, though. 
Unrest plus nine. Construction of Palisade and Sword Art is completed. Great. That is fantastic news. So now, unlike Cities, where we have a fortification, administration 45, which will be able to tax our neighboring provinces pretty well, we only have a, well, fortification. We only have a Palisade here. So 15 administration, but that's still pretty good. We can upgrade it to a fortress. So if we do that, what do we get here? It's not a very good province. Income 60. Income 326 there. But we can recruit units now. We can recruit our units. More to the point, we can get more of these commanders. And we have actually quite a bit there in resources and recruitment points. And this is a good spot to do it in because it's close to the enemy, right? Right up there. Now, what did he do? Let me see here. He did not attack, right? No. Oh, look at that. Troll Peaks. Oceania took this one. They're going to have a problem, I think, to hold that. That's their home province over here. They're going to have a problem holding this, I would imagine. This is still owned by them, though, as far as the Dominion is concerned. That's not good. I don't like that at all. We only have one temple. We need to get more temples built. But we took Vongar. So we own that now. So let's go ahead and press D for defense and then bring up to six maybe, right? Now that we have that, we should be making yeah, 91 in income over here. There's misfortune here too. And drain. Yeah, we have one temple here. Now, I can take him. Let's go ahead and take him right away and... Train monster in temple. Let's do that. Ningala, I didn't move you away. You know what? I should have moved you away, shouldn't I? You have 10 movement. We'll move you down here and then home. No units with you, right? And we'll take Ningala there and move him home. Pick up any more units. That's what you can do. Okay, that would work. What do we have now here? This is our staging area. So we have one, two, three, four, five. All five of our hero duels are there. Let's go ahead and set them up to preach, right? Final rest. Destroy undead beings, banish. Yeah, one. Range 25 plus. For every extra level, you get five more. Yeah, we're not extra level, so we can do that. We'll set them up to do that, but I'm out of time, guys. I'll come back and do that next time, so we'll get all these units here we have quite a few right yeah between the two of them quite a few units we have 76 plus 56 over 100 there and then we'll see what we can do against karnak set something up there and then we'll attack and take that throne of ascension which by the way that's the throne of brass right let's look at that throne before we end the throne of brass or the brass throne is a level one as well Spreads Dominion 1, which is, yeah, that's what we need to take. We need to spread our Dominion more. One fire, one earth, and then 50 gold. That's that one there, over there. But what about the other one? Also Dominion and two Astral. Yep, we need to take that one over here. The Karnak Throne. And then maybe move on to the White Spring Grove. So maybe we'll defend in the north here. I don't have any units to get into the ocean. It's tricky, right? I need to. I'm, I'm guessing if we go and take more provinces along the coast, we might be able to find some units, like maybe some ictates we can get here over here. It's possible. But we'll look at that next time, guys. Come back then and we'll play more of Dominions 5.